Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys talking all about my favorite drugstore affordable foundations. Whether it's affordable or high-end, I love buying things, so I'm not biased. A lot of people have asked me about inexpensive low-end foundations which ones are my favorite which ones do I recommend um, for my skin type and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you and hopefully you guys like this video okay let's get the ball rolling what I'm judging these foundations on is the user friendliness the price application shade ranges best shades etc first foundation I'm gonna talk about is one of my oldest foundations out of this bunch. I've talked about this product a lot. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Feel like it is long wearing, matte, perfect for oily skin. This is actually the most mattifying foundation out of all of the ones that I'm gonna talk about in this video. As far as the price goes, I believe this foundation is around $14.99. I'm looking this up and it says at Target it's $9.59 um, and at Ulta it's $12.99. So there's a huge difference depending on where you are, how much stuff costs in your area and what store you get it from because Target, Walgreens, Ulta, they all have different price ranges. What I like about this foundation um, as far as the user friendliness is that it is in a squeeze tube. I like that it's not a pour out foundation because you don't waste products. The things that I don't like about this foundation is one, you can't tell what the color is based on the packaging. This color is kind of deceiving. Um, it looks a lot more neutral and muted um, because of the frosty packaging, but it's a lot more warm toned than this. So if you don't have warm toned skin, if you have cool toned skin, this may be too warm for you. It says on here that it has a demi matte finish. It wears for 24 hours and it's a medium coverage. It's a full coverage foundation, but it's not too full to where you can't like shear it down if you wanted to. Um, so it's definitely wearable. Like you can wear this on an everyday basis and it not be too heavy or too cakey looking. Um, and it is a 24 hour, which means it lasts a long time. I can say that this does last a long time. It's held up through all types of weather conditions. I find my shade to be a perfect match. I use the color classic tan. However, I don't think it gets any darker than like maybe two shades after this, which I mean for deeper skinned women, it may be a little bit too small of a shade range for us, but I do like the shade that I use. So um, it works for me. This is definitely one of my all time favorites. I love this foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This is for normal to oily skin. It's not too matte to where it makes you look dry or cakey. Um, it definitely goes on smooth and leaves your skin looking still radiant and, and glowy without being dewy. This is the color Classic Tan. I've also used the color Toffee Caramel, but I think Classic Tan is a little bit more of a better shade match for me. I do appreciate that they've recently relaunched more shades. Um, Maybelline has one of the best shade ranges in the drugstore that I've seen. Um, it's really good. It's not a full, full coverage, um, but I like that because I don't necessarily need an extreme full coverage for everyday wear and this is a great everyday foundation. It doesn't oxidize on me, it doesn't change colors on me, uh, it lasts a long time. Specifically like these two foundations mixed together, I've said that before. So the highest price that I've seen this for is around $7, so I would say that this runs from about $5 to $7, which is way better than this price. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it is a pour bottle. It doesn't have a pump, it doesn't have a squeeze tube or anything, no dropper. So I feel like you waste product when you use this foundation because you have to pour it out. But at the same time, it's cheaper, so you if you run out quickly, it's okay because you're spending a little, a little more than half of the price of this foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. Um, I believe this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Clinique 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I'm not sure, but that's just my guess. This one comes with a pump. If you buy it online, the shade range is much better. I've never seen anything deeper than 09 tan in stores, which is unfortunate because when I went to go buy the foundation, this was the deepest shade they had, and this is a little bit too light for me in the summertime. In the wintertime, it's my perfect shade, but in the summertime, it's too, it's too light for me, so I've had some mishaps with this foundation simply because of the shade. All in all, this is a pretty good foundation. A lot of people don't like it. It depends on what kind of coverage you like and the consistency that you like in foundations. It's a little bit like paint. It stayed matte on me for the most part. It didn't make me oily. It makes some people oily, I've heard, but 
didn't make me oily. I didn't have a problem with it. I think it just has to do with the primer that you use. For the price that you pay for it, it's a pretty good full coverage foundation. And there's a good shade range online, so you can't beat that. What I've noticed about this foundation is that it is a little more on the yellow side as well. It does run pretty yellow. I'm not necessarily sure about the other shades, but I know the shade 09 Tan is a yellow undertone foundation. If you are a yellow girl and you have a problem finding foundations that are not too pink or warm, Milani does have a good shade range selection for you in that yellow range. So this Milani foundation runs for $6.99 at Target. Um, so that is a pretty good steal as well. The LA Girl Pro Coverage. The LA Girl Pro Coverage foundation is bomb. Like, it's bomb. This is a HD long wearing illuminating foundation. The combination of, of everything that was just said in that description is perfect for me. I find that a lot of illuminating foundations are not long wearing. They're not HD, they kind of make my skin look just greasy. It settles on my skin so nicely. It's almost like a satiny finish. It doesn't really have a dewy finish, but I feel like if you're an oily skin girl, you could get away with wearing this if you wear a good primer and you powder your face well. So a, a illuminating foundation for me is not a bad thing because I balance it out with powder and set it well. The LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation can be found for $8.99 at Ulta, $6.99 at Walmart. So it depends, like I said, it depends on where you get it from. It comes in a ton of shades. It even comes in a white shade that you can use to mix. Um, the darkest shade is like super, super chocolatey. I feel like this is one of the best shade ranges for an inexpensive foundation that I've seen in a long time. Um, I love this foundation. I feel like it's great. Um, I've never had any problems with it and it comes with a pump so that's cool too the next one i want to talk about is probably one of the most innovative foundations that i've seen drugstore foundations do really really like this concept this is the nyx total control foundation this is the most expensive of all of the affordable foundations that i'm going to talk about this one's 14 dollars and it's actually pretty small. It's only 0.43 fluid ounces, while the rest of these are a little bit closer to one ounce. I think if anything, this is one of the best that I've tried. I'm actually wearing it today. I think what I like most about this is that it's very flexible. It reminds me a lot of the Cover FX custom cover drops. You can basically create your own foundation concoction with any primer or serum or product that you wanted to mix it with. I feel like you could do that with this product. I like that I can mix this with other foundations too and it doesn't interfere with the actual formula. So it's not mattifying, it's not oil controlling um this is basically just pigment and with that being said i would consider it a full coverage however it's definitely not like heavy full coverage it's full coverage in the fact that it's very pigmented it covers everything pretty well it's lightweight you don't feel like you have a ton of stuff on your face it doesn't feel cakey it never looks cakey and it doesn't like dry matte or anything so you're not left with a super mattified face it's very comfortable to wear like the la girl foundation it comes in a large selection of shades so the deepest shade is super super dark um so you really can't go wrong there was so many to choose from I couldn't choose. I ended up getting caramel though because I always choose anything that says caramel. I just feel like I'm always a caramel. I feel like that's my my universal shade. It's a newer one in my collection, but I do really like it. I've been using it for probably a week or two and I've definitely grown to love it. I do use it with the brush that is recommended to use with. I haven't tried it with a beauty blender or anything. I don't know if it works with a beauty blender or another brush but I'll try that out and let you guys know. Next foundation that I wanna talk about is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This is a liquid foundation and it's in a cushion form. So if you guys are not familiar with the cushion technology, it's like liquid foundation, but it's in a cushion. It's like a sponge in here and you just dab and you boop, 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 boop. And it blends out very, very nice. It gives you more of a fresh, luminous glow. It's not necessarily dewy. It's very, very fresh faced. Um, it says fresh faced on here, so I'm, I'm just gonna use their terminology. Um, your skin will look radiant, um, and that's what I've noticed when wearing this foundation. I like Maybelline's Dream Collection. I have the Dream Velvet Foundation here as well, which I actually really liked. I never really used it a lot, but it's nice. It's a soft matte hydrating foundation. Both of these are good, um, but you could get a little bit more 
uh, flexibility with this foundation because you can sheer it out or uh, wear it more full coverage if you layer it. So it's definitely a foundation that I can say would be perfect for people who like to not wear a lot of foundation because it's very lightweight. I've used it with a beauty blender. I like it best with a beauty blender, but you can use it with a brush if you wanted to. I just like the compactness of it. It's very easy to travel with. So if you are a on the go person and you like to put foundation on on the go, out of all these foundations, this is the easiest one to carry with you because of its portability. Got a mirror in here, got the little pad you can just press in here and pad over your face. I'm seeing that this foundation is retailing for between six and $10. So out of all of the foundations that I have, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation is one of my go-tos and I will continue to repurchase it. The NYX Total Control, simply because it has a dropper. The dropper is not only cute and cool and like scientifical looking, but it helps to control the amount of product that I put on my face. I'm the kind of person who likes to put the product directly on my face. Um, I'm actually more of a stick foundation gal, which is amazing that I don't have any drugstore affordable stick foundations. I don't know why. I like to do stuff quick and on the go. So these two foundations to me are the most user friendly. I probably would not be able to use this very much in the summertime because my skin is a lot more oily in the summertime. Right now, this is my favorite. A close second would be the LA Girl Pro. My least favorite would have to be the Milani, only because the Milani is very thick and the shade that I have is just not perfect for me, so I don't reach for it, it stays in my drawer. So, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys, but if you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, please don't hesitate to ask. Please let me know if you guys want me to do more um, Foundation Friday videos. Talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye. Are you done being annoying? Don't look at me like that, because now you're making me feel bad for yelling at you. See, I just want some attention, mommy. You're talking to the camera, and I want you to play with me. You wanna talk about makeup? What do you wanna say? Oh, now you don't have nothing to say, huh? Now you don't have nothing to say. You're so funny.